Hey guys, it's your girl Secret D coming to you with Friday Strawberry Letter Response. Today is Saturday, but I had mothering things to do, so I didn't catch, I couldn't do it. Anyway, here we are. So the letter's written in by I think 32 year old lady who is falling in love with a 43 year old, right? So peep this, they met online. She said that they bonded because they were both lonely. And so they decided to meet up. So since they lived far from each other, they decided to meet somewhere in the middle, which is about an hour drive from her, right? So she said that he told her that he doesn't have a car. Oh, let's rewind. She said that she works in a school and he is a screenwriter. All right, he doesn't have a car. So she ended up driving three hours to go meet this man. She gets to his house I'm not sure what the plan was, but she gets to his house and he tells her that he cannot let her in because he is staying on a couple's couch and they don't want strangers in the house. He said he did not tell her this because she didn't he didn't want to turn her off. But she said that she was, you know, kind of put off by it, but he offered to buy her lunch and so it made it better. So fast forward, they go to lunch, they eat, his car declines. She said that he stepped away to go call his bank and asked her to cover the bill. She covered the bill and they figure, okay, let's go get a hotel room so they can spend the day together. Cause remember he can't go to her house and he don't have no car. So he can't, he, she can't go to his house. He don't have a car, so he can't go to her house. And I'm almost positive she's not gonna drive him back and forth, right? So they get a hotel his card declines she said he steps away talk to his bank the bank says there's a glitch according to him and so she put the room on the credit card they hang out they have a great time they have this mind-blowing sexual experience and now she's falling in love so she said you know fast forward she didn't get her money back um and he said that he's falling in love with her and she doesn't want to mess it up. So she's writing in to see if we think, is he just a bum or is he a work in progress? That was her question because all of the signs weren't clear enough. That's her question. Ma'am, he's a bum. First of all, that first night would have been it. He's 10 years older than you. He don't have nowhere to live. If you're aspiring whatever, I think any common sense person knows that you need to have money to survive. He's sleeping on somebody's couch. Oh, I forgot to add. He's sleeping on the couch in their apartment in exchange for cleaning and stuff like that. So he's sleeping on somebody's couch because he has no income. Like that means he has no aspiration. And I feel like this is the worst part about this man is that not that he, he has delusions of grandeur because he also told her that if he gets one movie that he's gonna be set for life. So he has those delusions, but also he has no ambition because how are you comfortable as a man at 43 years old, you don't have a car, so you can't get around on your own for the most part. You don't have a job, so you don't really have any real income. So he's probably getting some type of assistance from the state. And you don't have a job because you feel like you're just waiting for somebody to pick up one of your movies. So he's a whole bum and you need to just leave him alone. But you're kind of dumb though, because the, the he don't got no house, so he invites you to lunch. He, you had to pay for that, he didn't have no money. Then you wanted to go to a hotel, which you had to pay for, and you still slept with this man? I wasn't paying for nobody's hotel. I would've left him right at that hotel, the end. I probably would've left him at wherever y'all had lunch at, because no. And this is the thing when people talk about, oh, women are too caught up in how much money somebody makes. This man makes zero dollars. And yet, somebody will still find a reason if this lady leaves him to say, oh, she's too caught up on money. Anyway, I'm not about to go into this whole extra thing. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. 
He's a bum. He's a dud. You gotta go. That's what I think. Y'all may know what you think.